how do you know where you should put your SSDs and how the slots on your motherboard work? We have to talk about PCIe lanes. Uh, uh, sit down, don't be scared, and don't leave. It's very easy. Look at them like skill points on your motherboard that are given to you by your CPU and chipset. And whatever you connect on the PCIe slots or the M.2 slots on your motherboard is going to use some of these skill points, the PCIe lanes. So your CPU has a given amount of PCIe lanes and so does your chipset. We don't care about how many each of them has. It doesn't really matter for what we're going to do here. But your CPU is likely to have at least 16 lanes, probably for your graphics card. Most mainstream CPUs that came out in the last six years are going to have 20 or 24. So that you have 16 for your graphics card and then you have an extra four for an M.2. And ideally, your Windows SSD should go into this slot that is using CPU lanes. Hey, are you still with me? Stay here. Don't go anywhere. And then whatever is left on your motherboard is probably from the chipset and we're going to look into how to check that in a second. But before that, there's two things you need to know about chipset lanes. The first one is that they are a little bit slower than CPU lanes. It's really nothing crazy. The second thing is you notice I said your CPU can give a fat stack of 16 lanes to your graphics card. Your chipset can't do that. Your chipset gives lanes in chunks of four max. That's why when a slot is from the chipset, it's not going to be more than X4. Usually, and most of the time, on most most mainstream motherboards, I know one of you motherfuckers is probably gonna find some HEDT motherboard or some shit that has like a billion bajillion lanes because it has the magic chip. We're not talking about that, okay? And one last thing you need to know is a slot might look like it is physically x16. It looks like one of the big slots, but in reality, it's only wired to run x8 or x4 or maybe even x1. So how do you know which slot on your motherboard is using what? Well, you can go on the specs page of the official page from the motherboard's website or the motherboard's manual. I know you didn't expect that. Shockers. Let's do me, for example. My motherboard in my work PC is an Asus X670E Pro Art. So I go to the official web page website, specs page. I scroll down to expansion slots. And here it says AMD Ryzen 9000, 8000, and 7000, two times PCIe 5.0 X16 slots. Supports X16 or X8 X8. This means that the first PCIe slot on my motherboard is X16. If I put a graphics card in it, it's gonna have the full X16 slot. As long as the second slot is empty, it doesn't matter what I put in the second slot. The moment something populates the second slot, they both become X8, X8. So from this page, I know that my first two slots are from the CPU and the last slot, even though it looks like an X16 slot, in reality, it is only X2 and it is from the chipset. Now I scroll down to my M.2 slot. Here it tells me M.2.1 and M.2.2 are from the CPU. And then it says M.2.3 and M.2.4 are under the chipset. If you have questions, if I forgot something, you know what to do.